Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorials. So uh, in the last class we have seen union transformation. So let's see one more now. So when we did union, we have selected uh, four uh, sources like low, medium, high and default salary here and merged uh, them into uh, one uh, target table. So while doing that, when we introduced duplicates into medium, uh, we have introduced wantedly duplicate records uh, two times medium plus medium. So what happened is we got uh, when we send them to, through union transformation, we got 138 records with duplicates. So uh, suppose I want to remove these duplicates. Uh, is there any way to do it? Or uh, suppose I want to sort this uh, output from union or even without union if I want to ha if I have a source here employee and it is not sorted in the HR schema but I want to uh, sort based on some salary or some department name and load into the target schema employee so I just don't want to load it as is so I want to sort it so is there any transformation which can help us for the sorting or removing the duplicates? Let's see now in Informatica. So I'll take my mapping uh, where I left last time, M employees, union, and uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll create a new mapping uh, which is called M employees sorter. And let me drag the employee source here and then employees target. So I'm going to put a transformation called uh, sorter here uh, in select a transformation which is sorter uh, so I, I'll name it as SRT underscore salary EMP salary so I want to sort all the employees by salary before loading into the target so if you see on the source side uh, select star from HR underscore employees it is not sorted HR underscore employees uh, let's see if it is sorted uh, it is not sorted because 24,000 salary is first and then 17,000. So we want to sort it and load it into the target. So what I need to do is let me connect all these ports here and let me connect auto link between the sorter transformation and the target. And let's do some settings in the... So there is a key uh, ports which we need to give in the sorter. Uh, based on these key ports, uh, the sorting will get done before uh, the sorter is going to send the output to the next uh, transformation in the pipeline. So now I want to sort based on salary ascending. Uh, I can also choose descending here uh, or I can choose multiple ports for the key. Uh, it will sort in this order. Uh, we can also do based on multiple ports basically. So I'll save this and I'll come here and create one more workflow called WF employees sorter and one more session called S employees sorter and select the right mapping and uh, link these to give the standard properties right backward compatible HR is my source target is my target system and mapping when it comes to mapping you can put dollar source here and dollar target here dollar target here and uh, i'll do normal load and truncate and load so uh, i'm done with the session so let me run this sorter so it succeeded now uh, let me check it loaded 107 records but let me check the order of the salary now so now it is uh, based on the ascending order of the salary so uh, so one thing you need to remember in this transformation is basically the sorter transformation will stop and read all the sources all the source records uh, because it has to sort all of them by one particular key in ascending or descending order so it will wait for uh, to read all the source records it is not a, a row by row operation it has to get all the records first and then uh, sort them and then send uh, the output at once so if there are a, a huge number of records like 10,000 or 20,000 records it will stop to read all of them and then only it can give the output because it has to sort all of them so in the next class let's see one more variation of this transformation thank you